to Mom Fit's 30 day plank variation challenge with me, Natasha. And today we are going to do two moving planks. We're going to do a flying plank and a scorpion plank. The scorpion plank isn't as movie as the flying plank. We're going to do each of these planks twice and each for 30 seconds. We're going to start with the flying plank. Now this plank you can do either on your arms or your forearms. I'm going to do it on my hands for this side. I am going to start the timer. Whew. That's when you kind of just fly your legs up and then down. Now try Oops. and have control so you don't have a hard landing. All right, guys, we have a few more seconds. Whew. Whew. Okay. That's 30. Good job. Whew. Now we're going to do scorpions on the forearms. Take your one knee up. Here's your scorpion stinger. You dip it to the other side. Whew. This one's good for your obliques. Remember to keep your belly tight. Whew, halfway there. Keep breathing. You guys got this. Alright, you guys. Whew, a couple more seconds. Make sure you keep that belly in. Alright, good job. 30 seconds. Now I myself need a short break, though these two are difficult plank variations, especially for me. I have pretty weak shoulders. No, please. As I've mentioned to you guys before, I also carry the baby all day, which is weight that wears down my shoulders and I usually get my planks done at night. And I did two workouts today and one of them was a little shoulder heavy. My shoulders are feeling a little bit weak. But we can do this. We only have one minute planking left. Whew, two moves and we will be all finished. Yay! Yay! I have my little cheerleader here cheering me on. All right, this time I'm gonna try the flying planks on my forearms. Now I have never tried this plank before. Woo! So we'll see how it goes. Remember, you want to try and keep control on your way down so you're not falling back down after you kick your legs up. You want to be controlling it with your abs nice and tight. This really works. That mommy pooch, as my husband calls it, that lower ab area. All right. All right. Timer started. One way to help is to kick up that first foot. Keep that belly tight. Whew. Whew, I gotta move my arms, they're not quite under my shoulders. So you have a nice, whew, soft landing. Good job, you guys. You're doing great. Whew. I'm gonna do a couple more. Okay, last one is scorpion planks. We can do this, you guys. Not only that, we have done so many days of planking already. This is like nothing. Now, I did scorpions last time. I had the last set of scorpions on my forearms, so I'm gonna do this set. I'm gonna do this set on um, extended planks. This is a challenge. We started off 
easy. And now we're going to do some more difficult Whoa, planks. But you guys have done a great job so far. You can do it. We only have a little bit left. This is the last room. Keep that belly in tight. Whoa. Creating a bridge for my little baby girl. Whoa. Good job, you guys. That's 30 seconds. Now I got my heart rate up. I'm sweating a little. I'm a little out of breath. Don't think that just because it's two minutes that it's not giving you any work. Planks are hard and they use your whole body. You're engaging your arms, back muscles, chest muscles, core muscles, legs, glutes, calves. Especially when we do variations like we have been doing, you're targeting a lot of your muscle groups when you're planking. So don't think it's a small feat. You are doing work. I am so proud of you guys for completing this. This one was hard, but good job for sticking with me and doing it. I'll see you guys tomorrow for more planks. Thank you guys for joining me. And as always, thank you guys for liking and subscribing. And if you enjoyed this plank challenge, please share this challenge with a friend. Hashtag it be strong, be mom, and live a mom fit life. And if you want to tag me personally so I can see what you have done, tag me at mamatasha88 on Instagram.